Okay, so imagine this, a new client books an appointment with you and then all of their information automatically goes into your CRM. And what if I sweeten the pot even a little bit more and told you you don't have to pay to do any of this? No Calendly, no HubSpot, no Zapier, none of that. This is a completely free automated booking calendar that syncs with your CRM. Sounds pretty good, right? So even if this is your first time setting up any sort of automation, it's your first time clicking into N8N, don't worry, this is a super easy one, but it's super impactful as well. By the end of this video, I'm gonna make sure that you have an automated booking calendar connected to your master CRM. Let's do it. If you're a service-based business or you're a beginner just getting started out with your new side hustle or new business idea, you know that booking appointments and talking to clients is the lifeline of your business. If you're spending 30 to $100 a month with a combination of subscriptions with HubSpot, Zapier, Make.com, and Calendly, then you should stick around and see how this works because this is gonna be something that's very valuable for any service-based business, entrepreneur, or creator that wants to meet with their followers uh, or prospective clients. So if you're starting from a blank canvas, you'll just go to the top right corner here and you can search Google, which is gonna show you all of Google's apps, including Google Calendar right here, which you can click on, or you could search Calendar, scroll down to triggers, and then we're gonna say on event created. So that's what we have here. That is our trigger, and that is what starts the workflow. So every single time someone books an appointment with us, that's what actually initiates the workflow and sends that customer information to our CRM. Once we have that node added, we click into it. And really the most difficult part of this workflow is literally just setting up the Google credentials, which I've got a video that I made previously about that. It'll take you through click by click on how to set that up. And once you have your Google credentials set up, you can use all of Google's apps with N8N, which is really, really powerful. So right here at the top, Google Calendar account, this is what I'm talking about. So this is the auth authorization that we have to their API. So once we have the Google credentials set up, under poll times here, this is gonna be every minute just to make sure that we don't miss any events being created. And then on the calendar, this is gonna be the main Google email that you're using. So for me, it's Travis Automates. Um, use the main Google email uh, that you're setting up your credentials for so everything's synced. And then we actually trigger it on the event created. So once the event is created, that moves all of our customer information to the Google Sheets. Now, before we actually send that data to Google Sheets, we need to have a sheet to send it to. So go ahead and go into Google Sheets. Um, name it something convenient, like I name mine Master CRM. And the reason for that is because down here at the bottom, you can actually um, create different sheets for how you're, you're building your CRM. So right here is the appointment sheet, but then you've also got prospecting, you've got a lead magnet, and you've got your opted in uh, crowd for newsletters. So uh, a big part of this is definitely data compliance. So making sure that we have permission to enter people into marketing campaign, uh, email newsletter activities before we actually start sending it to them. So that's what this sheet is for, um, because every time we get a new lead into the system, we're automatically sending them an email to confirm that they would like to get future communication from us. If they click yes, then they go into this sheet right here. But that's down the road right here. We're just focusing on our appointment booking CRM. So here, we're just gonna need to create a simple sheet with these columns right here. So uh, in A1, name, B1 email, C1 phone, meeting date, meeting time, message, status, Google Calendar ID. Gotten our trigger node set up for the Google Calendar. We have our Google Sheet set up and formatted correctly with the columns we need to correctly field the data from our appointments. And now we just need to make sure it's formatted correctly in the node itself. So double click on the node and let's start at the top here. So first it's gonna be your Google Sheets account, which we connect through the Google credentials. So again, if you haven't done that yet, check out my other video, it'll take you through step by step. So we have our Google account connected, resource, that should be sheet within a document. And our operation is append row. So we have our document, we're not creating any new documents, we're just updating information inside of that document. And then right here, document, once you have your Google uh, credentials set up, you can actually just go down here and pick from all of your documents. So it's super easy, just pick whatever you named your master CRM, and then same thing for the sheet. So we're sending this to the appointment sheet, but you could send it to the prospecting lead magnet or opt-in newsletter or whatever you decide to name your other sheet, right? Now this part, it gets a little bit tricky. I had to mess with the, the JSON values a little bit to make sure that when we're outputting customer information to the sheet, we don't get any bad random parts of the string that were included before. Like for example, on the message, before I uh, got the JSONs formatted correctly, you'd get like stuff like this, you know, just like random, random stuff. So basically what we're doing here is just cleaning the data and making sure that we're outputting it like we want. So starting with the name here, this is what you'll have to put. I'm just gonna open each one real quick. You can screenshot this, pause the video, screenshot it, and then put it in the chat GPT, and then copy paste it, and it'll work for you. So you're gonna have this expression in the name, 
this is just making sure that we get only the name email this is pretty simple copy and paste that expression there's definitely some some minutia here so screenshot that meeting date right here meeting time right here and then the message was was one that was giving me some issues as well so screenshot this put it into your message that way you'll only be getting what your your cx said um, for their message and then finally set the status to confirmed and then the google calendar id is just going to be the json id so the google calendar is connected to google meet and that's the id number for the actual zoom meeting itself so i didn't mention it before but since you're using uh, google meet or teams you don't have to pay for zoom or anything like that either so again another subscription that you're knocking off by doing this flow there's one more thing that we didn't do and that's to actually set up the the landing page for the booking calendar so you can come up to the top right of any uh, Google application that you're in, hit this, and then select Google Calendar. And it's gonna bring you to your Google Calendar page, right? In the left-hand side right here, you're gonna see booking pages. You'll just hit plus. Now this is gonna let you choose your availability and schedule what times clients are able to book times with you each day and for what time. So appointment duration, general availability, your scheduling window, booked appointment settings. So if you wanna be notified when anyone books an appointment, you can do that. You can also set like a buffer. So if you have one appointment, it won't let you book another one until like an hour after to give you some time, um, stuff like that. And then here's an example of like what mine looks like. So a custom automation consultation, you can put in a description. You've got your booking form with, this is the data that we're getting. So first name, last name, email address, phone number, what would you like to meet about? And it's automatically checking my calendar for availability, which is awesome. So everything's synced up. We're not paying for anything. And if I have like personal events going on, like I'm going to a soccer game or I have a movie to go to, it's gonna be on there and it's gonna make sure that I don't get booked during that time as well, which is really cool. Um, and if you wanna send this to anybody, you can just copy the link and send it to a prospective client and email and they'll be able to book with you as well. So here's what the preview looks like. So like these are the times that people can book with me on my schedule right now. And if you want to, you can edit this after you set it up as well. So it's not like set in stone, but same thing, you're able to change all of these here, then you're done. So basically three steps and you have an automated booking calendar, CRM, and it replaces Zoom, HubSpot, Zapier, Make.com, Calendly, all these things. Uh, so I'll just run it real quick and book a test appointment just to show how you can test it and make sure it's working. So the first thing that you'll wanna do is make sure that in the top right corner here, right here, your workflow should be active. So since this one is activated by a trigger event, it needs to be active so it's running 24 seven. That way, anytime anyone books an appointment, um, it's able to take that information and move it to our CRM. So turn that on real quick and then pull up your Google Sheet in your calendar so in your calendar click on your custom booking page and then click preview so just to test it out you basically just book an appointment with yourself and make sure that it works once you've got your your test appointment filled out here when a client tries to book like this they'll go ahead and book they'll get their confirmation and sometimes it takes a few seconds but there you go. So now we have an appointment with Darth Vader. The information is formatted like so. So didn't give a number, so it's just gonna show NA. We have the time it was booked, the 24 hour time that we're gonna be meeting, some notes. So Darth Vader wants to meet about the rise of the rebellion. Interesting. A customer was able to book an appointment and you've automatically got their information into the CRM um, to help build your CRM in your business. So this is a really powerful automation that is super easy to make. And once you've got this base, you can really build on top of it. So I mentioned earlier that you can do a double opt-in follow-up email message. Every single time a new customer email goes into the sheet, that agent that's watching the sheet actually sends them a follow-up email to ask them for permission to be entered into the newsletter, into marketing campaign activities to confirm um, their consent, which is really big for GDPR and data compliance. We've just shaved off a hundred plus dollars per month of subscriptions. We don't need to use Zoom. We don't need to use HubSpot, uh, Zapier. If you're getting started, you're an entrepreneur, a freelancer, consultant, coach, this is perfect for you. This is a perfect CRM to get started because if you don't have a CRM, you're missing out. You now have a fully automated booking calendar that replaces three or four subscriptions and builds your CRM uh, without you having to do any manual data uploading. So um, really powerful automation. As you can see, there's only two nodes here. Um, so we could really build off of this and have other automations connected to the sheet uh, going forward. If you'd like to keep going further or if you just wanna download all of my JSONs directly. So you don't even have to watch the video. You just need to upload your Google credentials and swap it out for your own information. I do have a private school community where we go over all that stuff. For example, here's the essential business automations. It starts with the free booking system. 
Then we get into things like CRM and data compliance, lead magnets automated, and then the email newsletter as well. But all of that builds off of this foundational master CRM Google Sheet and all of it's free. So it's a really, really, really powerful but simple automation. That's a little bit about the school, shameless plug. Um, I hope you really enjoyed the video today. And once you have that initial uh, workflow set up, it's really exciting about where you can go from there. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.